We got snow. On Won't the be long. Won't be long before what I'm going to tell you will be like, yeah, whatever, because it will be old hat. <laughs> right. But this is the first time this fall that we have a snow forecast uh, that's going to impact traveling over the Cascades. The advisory for snow beginning at 5 p.m. over the Cascades this afternoon, three to six inches of pass level. That's government camp of 4,000 feet. That's Willamette Pass and Santiam Pass. Six to 12 when you get 5,000 and higher. That's Definitely the ski resorts and possibly Willamette Pass, which it's a little bit over 5,000 feet. So snowy travel tonight and Wednesday, absolutely one of our big stories. And again, the snow level itself for sticking snow to some degree, as low as 3,000 feet tomorrow and Thursday. Now starting Friday, the forecast is dry, so the snow levels aren't really important, but you can see the batch of air begins to warm up by Sunday. 8,000 feet. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be warm necessarily because we are looking down low at some freezing temperatures coming up this weekend. All right, government camp. We saw the snow at Timberline. Government camp, it's just been rain so far. They're 36 and a half degrees, but that temperature is going to be falling. It could be snowing up there by dinner time tonight on Highway 26. If you're just joining us, here's the snow. It's been sticking on the cars up at Timberline. Current temperature 29 degrees. Again, the lodge could get a foot of snow all total through the day tomorrow. All right, here's the current radar. Here's all the moisture coming in. Salem, you're just starting to see the rain approach into your area. This will become increasingly widespread and just steady rain, I think, for the bulk of the afternoon. Notice with me, it is raining all the way out through the Columbia River Gorge. Future cast at 4 o'clock just shows what I mentioned, the steady widespread rain. A reminder, this is 9 o'clock tonight, still really wet, right? <laughs> this is snow on the future cast model, that bluish uh, tone. This is cold air dropping really out of Canada. That's going to be the uh, ignition factor, if you will, for all the rain coming in. Now, tomorrow it's not steady rain, but we will see heavy showers. See the bright colors? This is 7 a.m. And I think we have a, a good chance that scattered downpours will produce some hail tomorrow as well as the batch of air continues to get colder and colder. Um, and that scattered shower threat continues into the day through the day tomorrow. I should mention right now I have Thursday morning being dry. How much rain? These numbers are actually higher than what this model was showing. It's now showing growing confidence that we get well over half of an inch, maybe 91 to 100 in Portland, maybe 1.30 inches in Lincoln City. We are back to being below normal with the dry weather as of late for the month of October. So we need the soak. That's the low clouds and the rain falling. Stoller family, Avengers Estate down in Dayton. Same scene over downtown Portland, just a very dark afternoon. These are the current numbers, 52 in Portland. We're going to see steady temps go nowhere, of course, because of all the rain. It's going to continue to fall this afternoon. Burns, you folks are at 50 after being in the 20s this morning. You will continue to be dry through the afternoon hours. Here are the 4 p.m. temps. Everybody's kind of 40s to about 50 degrees statewide, as you can see with the rain moving into central Oregon and out across parts of eastern Oregon. Uh, so rain of time, the steady rain today, the showers tomorrow, a dry Thursday morning, then afternoon showers, and then dry, but look how cold. Frosty, freezing temperatures this upcoming weekend. That's another big weather headline, Drew Carney. Thank you, Mr. Rod Hill.